Hey everybody, thank you so much for joining me on my latest Unreal Beginner tutorial video. This one will show you how you can create really simple idle or looped animations that you can add to actors, pawns or whatever you want in your Unreal Engine level. Now, a lot of games, a lot of environments use these basic, really simple animations that simply bring the same game world alive. This can be anything that is moving about in the scene and it gives it that sense of a living, thriving and dynamic world. In this case, like with anything in Unreal, we can animate things by hand and do it custom setting type of animation, but we can also do some simple idle or looped animations really more easily through basic use of a single node in the blueprint of Unreal Engine and the blueprint of the same actor. In this case, it's going to be a pawn. This animation will be a rotation and I'm going to show you how you can add an element to your level that is automatically rotating once you start the same level. So we're going to create something of a sci-fi kind of an element. It's going to be a rod that is hovering in space and rotating around itself when you start the game. The same will happen automatically and throughout the course of the level and we can add more of these as we want to if we want to clone them. So first of all I'm going to create a blueprint, a simple blueprint class and I'm going to choose an actor because we don't need anything more complex and I'm going to call it rotating beam. Let's make it a beam. Now double click on it to open it up and first we're going to create the colliders and the actual static mesh that's going to be rotating in the viewport and then we're going to add in the event graph the actual process of rotation. So first of all we're going to add a component and we're going to add a collider sphere So it's sphere collision and here it is and here we're going to add the static mesh which is going to be basically be just a cube that we're going to sculpt later on. So inside of it we're going to add a cube, here it is, basic shapes. Now it's a lot bigger than the uh, collider but we want to get it smaller so we're going to just modify it in terms of its size and also turn it into a beam like this and here we have it as you can see it's a beam it's located in this collider sphere so it means that no one no character in the game can would be able to move through it and we can add we have the static mesh we can add a material just to make it more interesting we can add something that is mm, let's say sci-fi-ish and we can go for some kind of a metallic brush not okay <laughs> let's say it it's brush nickel and uh, we have our object we're going to compile and save and now we're going to go to the event graph we can use event tick we're looking for event tick but you can simply delete these so they don't confuse you and from there to a right click and add event tick so the same process will begin as soon as we start the level from here we're simply going to add add actor local rotation and here it is a super simple node a sim super useful node a super interesting node and you see you have your potentials for rotation they're all zero so right now nothing will rotate but if we add let's say one on x scale it will start rotating using this speed on scale x so let's compile and save we can dock this here and we have our rotating beam will we add it to the level simply dragging and dropping it 
and here it is. It's all the way back, so I'm going to I'm going to delete it and add it again. Okay, let's drag it up, and let's see it in the game itself. And here it is. Our rod of brushed nickel is rotating on X scale. And as you can see, it's an idle animation. It's auto generated. It's looping. Everything is working as it should, but we can now modify it. So it rotates into different sites and different ways of rotation are present. So let's do three two for Y and let's do, let's say five for Z scale. Let's compile, save, and let's see it. As you can see, it has that really weird, <laughs> different kind of a rotation. Some, some of these, some X, Y, Z are all on different settings. So the rotation it generates is different, but we can also simply copy it and paste it around so we get that same sense of a strange sci-fi place where things simply hover rotate and exist in space which looks cool and any game kind of uses the same principles now this is just one of the rotations that one of animations that you can use rotation is pretty cool as you can see it's really simple it's really easy it's really straightforward nothing more than two nodes that are connected to basically any kind of static mesh you want to have in your pawn so there you have it hopefully you found this tutorial short tutorial and super tutorial useful if you did please leave a like leave a comment if you have any questions or you want me to try and help you with anything in your project i would love to try it to do the same and thank you so much for watching if you'd like to support my channel there is a bunch of ways you can do that in the description below and the biggest way you can do it and the easiest way you can do it is to simply subscribe for new videos that's all for me my name is ivica thank you so much for watching and hopefully i'll see you on my new unreal engine beginner tutorial video until then have loads of fun in your unreal engine levels bye bye